really kind of serve in a similar role in terms of the draft where you pick it up and you don't exactly know what position they are. We're going to see White Mon end up drawing in and like the stun is missed and he still wants to go for it too. Like I mean, this it's guy. worked out pretty well for him overall. As it you can see the gank potential now from save. Only level three right now. Takes the Viper Strike. That is a spell to fear if you're an Enchantress, that's for sure. Double Impale from Zephyr. They're going to try to turn this around to get two kills. They will do so successfully, but Carl does fall. Be better on land? Like, what What the hell is it? Dude? I mean, it's not truly land, right? It's still technically on the No, internet. I just meant at the Major. Oh, we're going to see the Wukong's Command. Oh, tried to dodge that there with the Mischief, but in the end, we'll be disengaging here from VP side. 23 Savage, extremely low. They can't finish him off. Save will die, though, to Zephyr as we were just praising him here. Looking for another stun potential onto Kingslayer on the run. Cuckoo gets the Lightning Storm off. Split Earth will not connect, though. I think there are certain games where one hero needs to build it, and Razor in particular is the type of hero that you never lack damage. Oh, okay. boy. Yeah, they're going to find a kill here. Viper Strike is there. Stampede, okay. Does get him out of harm's way for now, but with the Sunray, T1 with four members up here. Do a little place like that sitting in the trees, and you're not wasting your time because, let's be real, if you're an offlaner, your time's pretty worthless anyway. <laughs> Yep, this is true. 23 Savage gonna get the Wukong's command, but it's gonna be a full static link applied to him with the Arctic Burn on the side. But with reinforcements from T1, I think VP is just gonna dis- Razor, to me, is like the single most hero where if you don't have a BKB at the right time, mm -hmm. the rest of your game is just worthless. You fall off so goddamn hard. Oh boy. Yep, Zephyr gets off that Vendetta. And with White Mon's help, if- Definitely, if you're VP, you really want to do something around this defusal timing because- you don't want to go late game against all of these illusion carry, uh, these illusion killers. Yeah, I might have a fight here though. GPK taking a little harassment. Cuckoo in the meantime, putting himself in harm's way with that tier one tower in tow. Zephyr gets brought down by GPK. Finally, the reign of Nyx Assassin comes to an end. It's going to cost them Cuckoo as well. As we see the Winter's Curse onto White Mon. Doesn't have dive, does have egg, but obviously they would have killed it anyway. Tar initiation will be online as well. Zephyr trying to find Kingslayer here. Has the Vendetta. Gets it off with the Impale and with Carl's help. No. It's going to be slowed down a bit by this Cold Embrace, but they'll give this to Carl in all likelihood. If, if you're Cold Embracing in front of a Viper, it's like he's just so happy that you did that. Yeah, you just get five sure. stacks instantly. Yeah. 23 Savage gets off his Wukong's command. That's going to help set up another kill for VP. He could survive. It's like... He is just extending his team's ability to farm by doing that because yeah, they're going to go on him first. That's actually an interesting point, though, because VP, if you look at their lineup, they don't actually have the greatest high ground push. It's Cuckoo trying to get out the split earth. The static link applied, and there's the Winter's Curse, and the heal's coming from the side from White Mon. Will it be enough into the egg to follow likelihood? No. Nope. They're first going to get the kill onto Cuckoo, so that's a big kill overall for VP as they clean up yet another. And inside this Wukong's command, 23 Savage trying to save Zephyr. He'll do so successfully, but now they're on the retreat. The VP with a 1k deck ag, so you go up high ground on a different path than you're used to, and then initiate on them in the back. That's so smart. That's right. That's we have really the impale. Good. Viper strike to follow. This looks like the death of DM. Gets off the stampede, but really to not much avail. But it looks like VP still want to fight here. We see the impetus going to work for White Mom. It looks like he's going to survive. A nice split earth, keeping save in play. Monkey King, he's at stampede. Zephyr gets off the spike carapace, but hoof stomp will still connect. And that should set up a freebie for VP. One more Spirit Lance will do it. Into the doppelganger, and down he goes. You know, he's already got the full Manta, so he's like, oh, okay, I'll, right. just, I'll just go for it next. Oh, DM with the initiation. Will they be able to take out Cuckoo before the counter initiation comes? Wukong's command from above, though. 23 Savage gets cursed, and DM is going to pay for his insolence. Looks like nobody from T1 is really in peril here. Cuckoo a little bit low, but he's pretty far away as the egg is providing a lot of space. It looks... It's basically the, the mid laners are the biggest discrepancy, the Razor and the Viper. That's where the essentially the lead is for the most part. As you can see, successful hoof stomp onto Cuckoo. And with the Centaur coming in as well, just to help out a bit. Cuckoo's they do have a lot of chase potential with the mm -hmm. with the PL. He can just chase forever and keep killing people. And then Razor's gonna have like plus 300 damage. Oh, we have the initiation yet again. Wukong's command is out, but it's not gonna be able to save Cuckoo. Winter's curse to follow. Look at the damage to Nightfall. He's trying to get out with that doppelganger. Will be successful for now, but the egg right next to him, he definitely cannot kill it. So just has to run and now being chased by the Monkey King. And here's the counter initiation again. DM does get the successful hoof stomp off. 23 Savage getting all his damage stolen. Gets off the Jingu finally, but the Battle of Strike 
only hits one. Not a whole lot of heal other than from White Mon. It looks like it's going to be his death as a result. So two for nothing. Impetus coming through. Not enough to take out the Phoenix in the meantime. Zephyr showing off his Aghanim Scepter, but he is left all alone. All the damage reduction in the world will not save you there. To force to force that? Look at that. It's not easy. Look at that, Jenkins. Oh, my God. We have to say for yourself, young man. Hmm? All right. Hmm? Well, nobody should be listening. Stampede. They're going to find White Mon. Hoof stomp. Double edge. Kaboom. Kaboom. Like 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. and tweets into the window, and it's very annoying. Thank you for sharing that information. I scare it away every single day. Well, speaking of birds, I have no segue. That was so bad. PL dies. That's the age. <laughs> He's actually completely surrounded. Monkey King gets off the Wukong's command, and yeah, BP just have to leave their PL. That is not how you want to use the Aegis. He's dead for 60 seconds, and now the chase with the tree dance. 23 Savage, like a bird on the trees. Does he have enough damage? No. So beautiful. Save gets away. But if you catch him, it's all, it's all over. Oh, 23 Savage with a balanced strike. Will find save. Question is, will he get the kill this time around with the help of White Mon? Stampede to follow, though. 23 Savage just going to TP out. Will be successful to dive away. Zephyr and Cuckoo will likely fall here, though. So a little bit of miscommunication potentially from T1. And VP gets some pretty value. For you for entering into an area is really good. Yeah, we have the Mindbreaker now in the PL. We see 23 Savage wind up his ultimate into the Balance Strike. Cold Embrace is going to save DM for now. Winter's Curse to follow. This will give him a lot of space. DM just barely gets out with his life. Cuckoo is surviving inside that Wukong's command. And now the chase is on for T1. They're going to focus on Carl. Gets that static link off with the BKB to follow. GPK has a BKB of his own. We see the Balance Strike for the Jingu Master. I should say proc. And that's a one-for-one one exchange to start things out. Nightfall deep within the Tier 2 tower right now. He does not have Aegis. He does have Heart. But he's extremely tanky right now. And the fight might actually just break up here. One. And we won't know when Roshan is up for a bit here. Looks like we're going to find Save, who has a BKB already on the Enchantress. My goodness. Winter's Curse. It's a solo one for now, though. As the Disengage is there with the Stampede. Talked about that before. VP taking full advantage of that. It's going to cost the egg already. Viper pops the BKB. Carl's in a lot of troubles. Staying alive for now, but the static link still applied, and GPK in the end finally gets the kill. But now he's put himself a little bit in harm's way. Has no save for him. It's Zephyr with a nice stun. One. Yeah, one for one again on the mid laners. But the question is, will this turn into more? Hoof Stomp comes in. A nice dodge from 23 Savage. He gets the balance strike up. He is doing so much damage. Look at this stun from Zephyr. Again, huge ravage, essentially. And T1 turning this around again. Kingslayer inside the trees. Split Earth connects. Give it to Zephyr. Damn it. He should have gotten it. We talked about the shards in this game, but Leshrac shard is really good. We talked about Viper. If you want to go high ground, it's a really good one. We're going to see a fight. Looks like Save might take a tumble here. Cold Embrace is going to keep him alive for now, but you can see the pseudo counter in the Sunray coming through. Nice Winter's Curse to disengage. Might actually buy enough space for VP to, to chillax and reset here. Sending out some illusions. Still using the cover of the Wukong's command, but now VP. Perhaps they want to fight now that that big ult is down. Zephyr. He's just still there. He doesn't. Yeah. He He's gets immortal. the mana burn, the impale. Now getting surrounded. Hoof Stomp is there. Balance Strikes is going to save him for a little bit here. Spike Carapace in that AoE. And look at this. Centaur has nothing to work with now. Cold Embrace. Now you're stuck within the midst of T1 as an entire team. Centaur is not tanky in that situation. Is Carl just solo killing Kingslayer here? He I, I is he doing is. a lot from a blade, basically global range there, right? The global range attacks from Carl. Absolutely. And his armor applied to it, it. It does seem like they have enough area control right now, and now they just want to take towers. <laughs> yeah, 23 Savage finds save. Oh, popping that BKB and just running away. He's a but he won't have BKB for this potential fight here. 23 Savage with that BKB. Plenty of time to work with. And just pounding into this minus armor tower now, thanks to Carl on the backside. And Zephyr, he's going to get Winter's Curse. Okay, a lot of damage reduction. You can see the heal coming out from White Mon. They're going to apply all their pressure to him if they can. The question is, is it going to be enough? Zephyr looks to be falling here, so that's going to be a good pickup for VP. The Egg with the Sun Rage is a little bit too late, but even if they lose Zephyr, perhaps they can still fight. No. T1 now oh, on the nice run. Nice stun from DM on the back line. GPK trying to go in, but the Wukong's command is enormous with this 25 talent. And DM just dies. Split Earth connects on the Kingslayer. I think with that now, potentially you can push, but the buyback now into the Wyvern, he's already used his ultimate. Faking out this balance strike, will finally use it to connect. Static Link is applied still. Better be careful for 23 Savage here as Cuckoo gets off the splitter. It's not going to connect on anybody though. 23 Savage with that Jingu Mastery. Nice cold embrace, but the Sunray to counter it. Will it be enough? It's going to be pretty close. 
dives away to safety, but GPK finds his way to the grave regardless. Finally, Nightfall, in the midst of things, finally gets that Phoenix kill, but it's gonna cost him so much here. And Nightfall with barely any mana to work with. Focusing on a Cuckoo, Sap, 23 Savage again with a Boundless Strike. He just, I mean, he still has the Aegis and still has this mega farm. Trying to find the right illusion, and Cuckoo looks to be falling to Nightfall. Gets off that Ghost Scepter, but it's gonna delay the inevitable here. So VP do hold, technically speaking, did cost some buybacks. But they don't lose racks. PL, so I'm not even sure how strong that is. I mean, we'll see. And I think the idea behind the doppelganger cooldown for this game is if you lose the Divine Rapier, you die. Yeah. The doppelganger, I mean, that's a great, great safety measure for yeah, yourself. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Oh, the Spike Carapace is going to keep the Razor in place into the right clicks from 23 Savage. But there is the Aghanim Scepter Stampede coming through with all that damage reduction to come. Nightfall. Oh, the Phoenix staying alive for now. Not able to get off Egg, though. So a nice first kill for VP. See if the buybacks come through on T1 side or not. Split Earth will connect, though. This will be a huge kill. Big impale on the two heroes. And it looks like DM takes the tumble first. Cold Embrace did save the PL for the time being, but Nightfall just doesn't do enough damage to actually make a difference there. GPK just getting chased by Cuckoo, who's been dying all game. And we actually will live thanks to that Yules. 23 Savage now in enemy lines. It is so tanky himself. With that butterfly, like a trying to dodge a little packing. bit here. And of course, the rest of his team on the backside. Zephyr continuing to get these big impales out. Cold Embrace not able to withstand this damage. Balance Strike is there. And finally, save will go down. So it's now a four versus three. T1 do know this could be the game ending fight here. 23 Savage, Balance Strike came out. Oh, that's a big item on Monkey King, or a big rune on Monkey King. Oh, Nightfall. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. It's already at half HP. He pops the BKB. They now see the Divine Rapier. Do they have the damage to actually finish off? Big Wukong's command to come out. It's going to be a one for one exchange to start things out just on supports. All right, he's beating the crap out of his own teammate here, but it looks like Cuckoo will survive with that Bloodstone thereafter. Nice impale from Zephyr yet again. There's the Balance Strike. They really want this Divine Rapier onto Nightfall. Attempting to get out at half HP again, and Carl is coming. They're going to get yep. into the trees He's we go. Help. And this, oh, nice doppelganger, oh, but you can see the Jingu stacks coming through. A nice stun from Centaur, saving, but Zephyr again. The Impales have just been... That's got to be game. Yeah, that's game. So on point this game. It was a good last-ditch effort, but just didn't work out for VP. T1 played crisp.